Today we find out if Sidney Jean Charles and the St. Louis Cardinals can punch their ticket to the World Series. Coming off a fantastic series win against the Cincinnati Reds that forced us to win three consecutive games after falling behind in the series 0-2, we now meet up with one of the National League heavyweights and a Dodgers team that's going to be really tough to beat. But I love this team that we have this year, and we have done so many impressive things. We have our chance now in this best of seven series. We'll go through the entire thing today, and we're going to face some outstanding pitching. Walker Bueller is up first for the Dodgers. We're also going to see Dustin May, and I saw they had picked up Tyler Glass now as well. So there is no shortage of elite pitching on this Dodgers staff. And while we don't have the same elite names, we have some guys who have played really well. Uh-oh, Trey Turner starts it off with a double. He steals third, and then they bring him home with a sack fly. It's 1-0. In the NLDS, Nolan Arenado became the hero after Sidney. He hit homers in the losses, and then it was all about Arenado hitting the grand slam, hitting like three, four homers. To get us that series, we'll see if Sydney can bring some heroics into this one. We do start at home at least, and missed a chance right there. Oh no, strike three on the fastball. Oh, how'd I let that one go? Come on, man. Bellinger at the plate. Sydney's not going to get to this one. Cody trying to stretch this one. Throw into second. It is not in time. And Bellinger gets a two-out double. They do not bring him home, though. And we are able to answer. We have a walk, a triple, all sorts of stuff going down in the second as we do have the lead. And now let's try to turn down the strikeouts. Been seeing more of those lately. Two to one St. Louis. And chase the slider after letting a couple curveballs go. Two and two now from Bueller. With nobody out trying to make something happen and just a piece of that one. Very little discipline here on pitches inside. And that continues. Strike three. But we're going to face Bueller again. Three to two. We want to advance the runner. Let's go for a hit. We got to bounce back from those two strikeouts. They've been ugly. Bottom of the fifth inning. Bueller's likely last frame here. Ball one. And he's under it. Popped up in the shallow center. Just missed that one, I guess. So we don't want to face Bueller too many more times, that's for sure. But now Cody Bellinger at the plate, Joey Lucchese in the sixth. And this one actually playable. And the Dodgers will have the second out here in the sixth. So Lucchese's done a pretty good job here in game one. He's done what you need of him. He goes through six, only allowing two. But... Trey Turner, he doubles home a run in the seventh inning. Emilio Pagan, he's not holding on to the playoff lead for us. And now into shallow center, Sydney will end the inning. But we got to go get that lead back now. And Sydney hasn't done his part today. Second and third, two down, we face Bruce Dar Gratterall. There's just nobody you're excited to face in this staff but we're gonna get walked here so you know what maybe in this situation it's actually better for Sydney to get walked and we'll come back the next day with a little less pressure and now it's Nolan Arenado and this might be who you want up actually over Sydney they have Chapman Alexander warming up in the bullpen so a couple lefties getting ready Three apiece here in the seventh. Arenado 0-1. Ball one. 
Swing and a miss for Arenado. Strike two. And this one is on the ground. Nice play at short in the, in the inning. Trey Turner doing it today with the bat in the field. He's stolen a base with his speed. And we move on to the ninth inning. Ryan Helsley is on the mound. Two on, two down. Game tied at three. One and two to Freddie Freeman. Into center. And Sidney over just a few steps as he secures it. So we're going to go bottom nine. A chance to take game one. It's over. It's over just like that. An error and a single end up giving us the game. Man, I wonder how bad that error was. Chapman blows the save in a matter of moments there. Two batters faced. And the Cardinals have taken game one. Not a good game at all for Sidney Jean Charles, but... Here is the uh, game log of it. So Edmund reaches second on a throwing error by Chris Taylor. Sosa grounded the center for a single, so he scores from second. Only a three-pitch inning, and we get the job done. Wasn't a good day for Sidney, but if we can win when he's not even playing well, then we just got to wait for the at-bats to come around. Now, we've only experienced two series in the playoffs in this entire series. And they've both been reverse sweeps. We'll see if that trend is broken today. Like, if we go up 3-0 and blow it, that's going to be bad. But we're going to have on the mound here, Steven Matz will face, I believe this might be the Dustin May game, possibly. But we're in the first. Tommy Pham. That's going to be a long run. Sydney gets there. And he puts it away. And it is Dustin May. Currently in my Rockies franchise, believe it or not. One on, one down. And a drive out to right. Going back to the wall. Look it up. It is gone. And Sydney puts the Cardinals in front. We got the pitch we wanted right away. Another postseason home run for Sidney Jean Charles. What is that, his third now of the postseason? Let's see that one again, hopefully, on the K zone, but that looked like a slider that was more outer side of the plate, outer half. But we were able to turn on it. Sydney muscles it out. Cardinals looking good so far. Yeah, when you have the power of Sydney Jean Charles, you can pull that pitch right there on the outer third. Not a problem at all for Sydney. Three to nothing now as we have increased our lead even further. Trying to take care of things here at home. This one's lifted to Sid to keep it routine. And we'll face Dustin May once again. One down here in the third. Must have been uh, a slurve. Yeah, that's what we saw. You can have the low one there. He throws that 100 mile per hour sinker. Really good fastball. A cutter and slurve aren't fun to handle either. And now a bouncer to short. On one hop, Sydney is retired. Whoa, where do they suddenly get four runs from? They got a Will Smith home run and then Cody Bellinger with a three-run homer. And we suddenly trail by one. Steven Matz having a tough day, suddenly. As this one sent past Sydney, he won't get to it. That's extra bases. And a double here with two away. And then they single him home with Trey Turner, who's having a really nice start to the series. Five to three. And Sydney up again. We have not scored since early in the ball game. We trail by two. Ooh, big slurve up top, and I wanted to send that one out too. 
Couldn't quite get to it. Almost went after that one, believe it or not. One and one turns into two and one. 67th pitch. Ooh, late that time. So he doesn't have the control of it that he would like. And now missing way off the plate, three and two. I think he goes inside. Hasn't done it yet in this at-bat. We're under it. Into center field. Long run to the track. And the catch is made. So now the bullpen hoping to keep them off the board for the remainder of the game, which isn't easy. Basically a chance at a home run no matter who's at the plate. And can we just scratch across three more runs? Chris Taylor's aboard. He runs well. Mookie bets at the plate. Mookie hits righties better than lefties. Keegan Aiken gets him to sky it to center. So they haven't really tested Sydney much in the outfield. 5-3 as we have three innings to fix this game. Otherwise, we lose home field. There's a pair of doubles. And then we score again. Five apiece. And the bases are loaded in this inning. Three hits, two walks, an error. I'm curious who that error gets charged to. They're loaded up. They bring in Chapman early today. They need the out, and he didn't pitch much the night before. So he's certainly still fresh. 1-0 to Sydney. There's a strike at 99. First right-handed at bat here of the NLCS. Ooh. A little early. Not great work with the PCI, and now two strikes. The other way, this one down the line, and Betts is there. It jammed us. And Chapman gets out of the inning. Just one really good swing so far for Sydney. Got to get more. Whoops. I don't like skipping that fast. But nobody else has scored as we go bottom 10. A lot of speed on base. A lefty on the mound. And Sydney trying to be the hero. Here in game two. There's a strike. Backing him off with the slider. Ball one. And a drive into center. Not hit deeply and it is caught. Just could not get enough on that one. A two run homer by Arenado has won it for us though. In the very next at bat. And the Cardinals have taken the first two of this series. We're going to send it to LA. We keep home field. And Sydney hasn't even played his best baseball. Just one hit in those two games. It was a nice home run. But otherwise, we'd like to see a little bit better contact here out of Sydney. But we're more than happy to take those first two. And now we're going to move the series to Los Angeles for three. So we know for sure that uh, we won't lose this series in L.A. But can we take at least one of these games to give us a chance to win the series at home in either game six or seven? Mookie Betts hoping to get his team a win here in the third game of the series. And they're going to pitch with Tyler Glass now today. And we are going to pitch... Uh, I'm not sure who's on the mound in this one. Glass now. Have we faced him? 0-2. 0 for 2 career. A strikeout plus a walk. Trying to get on the board early. And strike one on the foul. We have a base runner here. He goes and pitch outside. They can't get him at second base. I thought maybe they had him there. But now in scoring position for Sid as he's backed off with the fastball. Off the plate inside. Three and one to Sid. 
Can we get something decent here? Nope, we'll wait till next time. Ball four. Hey, it's our first time actually being on base in this episode as Arenado gets a chance and fouls it back immediately. Arenado really has become kind of the playoff MVP. How is he hitting 185? That's real? He has how many home runs though? Is it just like all of his hits are homers? In the dirt? Moving up to third base. We want second and we'll get there with a late break. Almost missed the window. But now Arenado has two in scoring position. This is big. And he drives it. Foul into the seats. Just in front. Two and two from glass now. Fouled back. And a strike three swinging on the fastball. Glass now finally wins the battle. He has two strikeouts now in the inning. And Corey Dickerson tries to do something with two down. Corey hitting 231. And a line drive to right that goes right to Mookie Betts. And the inning comes to an end. There's a base hit into center as the Dodgers have a couple aboard here in the first. You won't get too many 1-2-3 innings against these guys. And they still don't get anything. And we get a home run from Baez to go up 1-0. How about the young guy getting it done? 1-0. That was terrible. Popped up foul territory. Yep, just having some trouble. Jordan Wicks doing a really good job to this point as Taylor sends one to the gap. And Sydney doesn't have much luck cutting it off. Taylor into second with a leadoff double. Dodgers looking for their first runs. Ground out, strikeout, strikeout. And Jordan Wicks puts up his fifth zero. And we'll see if Sydney can get us something now with runners at the corners. Yeah, right. They're walking him. So we're looking at three walks, two intentional, and a home run for Sydney. Pretty quiet so far. Bases loaded. Arenado with a chance to do even more damage. 2-0 and from Glass now. And, of course, the Arenado foul has to be part of the equation. Make it two. This one off the backstop. Two and two. Base is loaded. And he strikes out again. Oh, he's frustrated. The bat splits into two. Can we get a look at that, uh, that broken bat here for Arenado, please? Oh, man. So frustrated. And Dickerson gets his second chance to do some serious damage. But Glass now, he's gotten the outs when he's needed them, that's for sure. Three and one now suddenly. He's missed three straight. And here's one of the biggest pitches of the ball game. To Dickerson. Ball four. So we'll bring home at least one more from this inning and now leave it up to Paul Goldschmidt. Ball one, that's five straight misses. Bullpen getting ready with Gratterall and Alexander. That's a strike as he breaks the streak. One and one now to Goldschmidt. And a big cut for strike two. Class nail one strike away. And it's hammered foul down the line. Strike three. That looked to be right down the middle. Glass now gets out of trouble. He's only allowed two runs through five. But then the Dodgers answer in the sixth inning. We are tied up as Sidney faces Chapman again. 
Give me a double or better in this at bat, man. We have one hit from Sydney all series. That wasn't too bad. I guess I'm too late here with the reticle right now. That one is driven a long way deep center field, but it is caught in front of the track. Tommy Pham reaches a strikeout, bets with the single, and we strike out the side. We're getting really good pitching overall in this series. And we score in the top of the ninth. This is our chance to go up three games. We got to make something happen here, Sydney. It can't be them doing all the work and you just going over. Runner at second, Bickford the pitcher, ball one inside. And missing low. We're waiting for something nice here, 2-0. A little late on it, though. It was top of the zone. Not a typical two-strike or 2-0 swing, but I wanted it. I like the pitches high right now. Hey, I laid off an inside slider. I feel great. 3-1. and one. Sydney trying to come through. And he's out in front. We're getting the timing, though, on the PCI down again. That's getting better. Full count. Ooh, that's so hard to lay off. I got to find a way to not swing at that pitch. Three and two again. Ball four. Sometimes we can't be too greedy. But now we'll see if Arenado can give us some insurance. 3-2 St. Louis. Big cut. Let's see. It's a different bat than the last one he was using, of course. That one's in a couple of pieces. 0-1. Oh Fouled back. And he's gone on four pitches. This bat does not receive the same fate as the prior piece of lumber. Two on and one down. Dickerson, strike one. Strike two. We've gotten base runners all series. It's been doing something once they're on base. Strike three looking, that looked high. But I'm over here on first base, what do I know? Paul Goldschmidt now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts. Keeping this game within reach for LA. Strike one. And it's in the air. Bets ranging back and settling under it. No harm after the first two reach here in the ninth. And we're going bottom nine now. Giovanni Gallegos. Three opportunities here in the postseason. Three saves. And we're going to watch every pitch here in the ninth with us up by one. Looking for that 3-0 series lead. Tommy Pham leads off. And immediately to right center field. Sydney, he cuts it off. Throwing into second, Pham hustling. And he's safe. The Dodgers have the tying run in scoring position. Gavin Lux will run now. And they go Freddie Freeman next. One for three on the day. 0-2 oh now to Freddie Freeman. Gallegos gets him on three pitches. That is big time right there. That's cold-blooded. You give up a leadoff double, and you come back and strike out their three-hitter on three pitches. But Mookie Betts is next. Betts already has three hits on the day. I think that's enough for one night, personally. It's popped up. Sydney racing in. Can he get there? What? I can't believe I just misjudged. The worst of all time. Betts to third. I, I didn't even see the arrow. I did not even see the arrow at all. 
that would have been an easy play. Oh, no. Chris Taylor with bets 90 feet away. I did not see the arrow. I just looked at the, the ball, which I didn't read well either. Oh, my, I can't believe I did that. I haven't done that once in the entire series. I didn't see the arrow. How didn't I see it? It's like my 12th fielding op of the day. I guess I know that not every pitch is headed my way. I can't believe I choked that away. Strike three on Chris Taylor. I'm sorry, Gallegos, for blowing the save. Cody Bellinger, 0 for 4. Trying to force extra innings. I'm not sure if Sydney would be likely to hit in the 10th. Probably not. It would take a longer inning. And it's in the air. Going deep to right field. That one is gone. The Dodgers take game three. I guess we still needed another out, even if I didn't screw that one up. Bellinger walks it off. We missed our chance to go up 3-0. Sydney walked three times in that game and still only has one hit in this series. And now we look to hopefully take uh, game four. That's tough. Now we face Clayton Kershaw. Oh, I'm going to have to watch back that play in center and see how I screwed that up. Not looking forward to it. But all we can do now is try to bounce back. Runner at second base, one down, facing Kershaw. Strike one. And a tapper over to third. Nice play. They got him. Chased a curveball. Not having a good series here at all. That's a lot of base runners here reaching bottom one. They do get one run out of it. And they threaten to score in the second. You just don't have these guys go one, two, three very often. It's one nothing. I just want to uh, get a hit at this point. Clayton Kershaw, take two. All right, take the fastball low. Sydney has faced Kershaw a few times. He has one hit. It was a home run, but he's one for five. Strikeout and a walk. Bouncer right side. Easy play once again. Bottom of the fifth inning. One to nothing still. A low scoring game. And Sydney will range in. Doesn't fly over his head this time. Top of the sixth. A fast one here in game four. Kershaw at 59 pitches. He could go as far as he needs in this game if we can't get hits he's not leaving ball one we only have two hits in this game so far a base runner here for Sydney with two away and a base hit to center field Sydney back in the hit column two on two down and here is your postseason MVP to this point Nolan Arenado looking for that big hit in Los Angeles that one is in the air to right and Betts secures it we have hit some interesting fly balls into right field but Betts has gotten to almost all of them so it's still one to nothing and Brandon Waddle faces Cody Bellinger that one is sent a long way and we're going to not get to it. It's a ground rule double. Just out of reach. 
Bellinger helps them get their second run across. We still haven't scored here in game four. And we are going to face Bellinger again with the bases loaded. I am terrified of this at bat. Matt Strom, keep it in the yard, please. In the center, Sydney under it. That's it. Still 2 nothing. And Edmund leads things off with a home run for us, so we're only down one. And here's Sydney getting walked, so he doesn't have a chance. That's, I think, four intentional walks now in this series. A lot of walks for Sid. His on base is pretty nice right now. But they'll get to face Arenado once again. Arenado in the air! Right at Cody in center. He takes care of it. It's Goldschmidt hitting fifth today. And he's ahead 2-0 against Jimmy Nelson. Goldie looking for that signature hit in the postseason. But he's way out in front. Way too high. 3-1. A threat to load the bases once again. And he swings and misses. Slider away. Full count to Goldschmidt. That one is a fair ball. They got Sydney and go around the horn. Double play. Big turn there. Start of that third base by Diaz. Really nice play there. The former Cardinal. And we're going to have to get this done now in the ninth inning. And Sydney might not have a chance. Top of the ninth. A single for Arroyo, a fielder's choice, and then Tucker Barnhart is retired. And the Dodgers win the game and even this series. The home team has won all four games. We'll play one more in LA. And we'll see who takes the upper hand. Game six will be an elimination game, but we'll see who that is for. This is tough, though. I'm still thinking back to that... Uh, ball we had go over our heads we need to find a way to win this game and give us two chances to secure things at home i want that world series berth all right it's game five everybody nlcs continues back to the top of the rotation in walker bueller and we had some ugly strikeouts against him in game one but now we've seen him a little bit Wow, I cannot believe we missed that one. How do you not get overexcited for a curveball like that? Oh, it hits him. Sydney has not had a lot of balls in play. <laughs> Two down now for Arenado. Thought about stealing, but I think we'll let him hit. Guide the right center. But under it is Bellinger. And he takes care of it. Cody Bellinger. Having himself a nice series. He's hitting 267 here in the postseason. And decides to keep it easy on Sid here in the second. Scoreless game here in the fourth. Not that time, Walker. You're expecting so many good pitches. Tough pitches. Oh. So when you get that curveball right over the middle like we did in that first at-bat. Oh. Staying disciplined enough to not be very early is difficult. Two and one. And there's strike two. Can't freak out now with two strikes. Ah, strike three looking. It's not Sydney's best series, but hopefully he still gets some chances. Mookie Betts has scored a run. It was their first hit. It's a solo homer. And now with two down, we try again here against Bueller. 
Down the middle, strike one. And a drive lifted out to right. And Betts goes back to take care of it. One of his best swings of the day in any of these games. One to nothing. We're going into the late innings here. Top of the eighth, two singles. And Sydney up now with two down. Just two for 15 with a lot of walks, hit by pitch. Will they walk him here? No. They will not load the bases. They'll face Sydney with Phil Bickford. Oh my, so close. What in that bat here in game five? Way too high. Two and one now to Sid. Not confident in his two-seamer, but he's thrown it twice. And he misses now low. Three and one. We've had a lot of walks today. And we'll see if we get something to drive. We did. We did. Fouled back. Full count runners will leave early. Fouled off again now. Late at 94 should not be happening. Try it again. Just a piece. Come on, Sid. And on the ground, base hit center field. We wave home the tying run. And the Cardinals are on the board. What a battle there for Sidney. He does come through. A lot of fouls there. Just couldn't square it up. And we actually got a pitch to drive and got on top of it. Bickford lucky. We only got one run on that swing. So the game is tied up. And Arenado's turn now as he does what he usually does. I'm not sure if I could have gotten to second on that. I just didn't want to screw anything up. Wasn't sure if they'd throw home. Seemed like an easy run to score despite the lack of speed. 0-2 oh, now to Nolan Arenado. And gone on three pitches. All right, we're going bottom eight now. Single. Stolen base. Strikeout. Walk. And we end the inning. We're going bottom nine now. One, two, three, down in order. We can't get to Sydney in the 10th. And now it's Emilio Pagan. He's facing Mookie Betts, who already has a home run today. I just want an 11th inning. Betts going deep to center. Sydney back. And... No, he can't bring it back. Mookie Betts wins it. Two solos, and it's all it takes as the Dodgers take a 3-2 series lead. Of course we get that robbing opportunity at the wall. Haven't done well with that at any point in this series. I only see it once every now and then. And the Dodgers now have the upper hand as the series goes back to St. Louis. The jump was still too early. I'll have to see if I waited for that third arrow. That would have been the redemption chance right there for Sid. Early jump. Oh, we weren't robbing that anyway. It is time for game six. We need this win. No room for error. And we could use some heroics from Sydney. It hasn't been a great series for him. He only has one home run, a lot of strikeouts, a lot of walks. But there's still time. As Freddie Freeman triples home a run here in the first inning. So we've got to come from behind in the series, come from behind in this game. Here's Mookie Betts. Into center field to score the second run. Dodgers 2-0. 
Oh, that's not it? They get four in the first? Are you kidding me? We face Dustin May now, bottom of the first inning. We have homered off of him in this series. With us going down 4 nothing early, it's hard to see us winning without Sydney having a big day. 2-1 and one with 2 down. I don't want to walk in this situation. Ah. Man, these guys are just tough. All these pitchers are really good. High in the air, sending Bellinger back. But he has plenty of room. And secures it. We can't allow much more in this game. It's been a rough series for Steven Matz. Still 4-0. Ooh, we're on the board. Single, double, homer. And now it's a one-run game. Sydney facing Dustin May. Bottom three. That was wicked. Two strikes. Watch out. Too late on the slurve left up. That was the pitch we homered off of last game. And now on the ground, it's a base hit for Sydney in the first four reach in the third. We're a triple shy of the cycle here as a team in this inning. And Sydney represents the tying run. So we've gotten some singles at least from Sid. Just not really squaring up on the ball the way I would like to. We're on top of it, we're under it. A lot of lazy fly balls, a lot of ground balls that are thankfully getting through the infield. And they're ready for a pitch out now as Sydney stays put. No, May hasn't gotten an out yet. He's going to have to earn it. You're not getting a caught stealing in this inning. Two and one. Three and one. Now it's tempting to go hit and run. Ball four. Five straight have reached for the Redbirds. Corey Dickerson trying to continue a third inning rally that has given us hope. Dickerson into left, and it's caught. Not a bad swing. One down. Paul Goldschmidt, 0 for 1 on the day. Feel like he's been pretty quiet, especially this season. That's a nice slurve on the outside. That's where he wants it. It's rarely ended up there. And now blocked by Will Smith. Hit hard to second base. And it is a double play. Dustin May gets out of the jam. And it's a 4-3 ball game. As Mats gives us a 1-2-3 inning. Two in a row as a matter of fact as we get back to Sydney's next A-B against Dustin May. Bottom of the fifth. Too early. And pulled to the right side. What a play by Freeman. May covers and they get the out. I did not think Freddie was going to make that play. What a stop ranging to his right. Single for Betts. Ooh, caught stealing. Bellinger reaches again. Those two have had incredible series. We're getting late in the game, though. We need to get that run, and Sosa is standing at second. We face Chapman. I guess he's not always their closer, then. He's been entering a lot of seventh-inning situations here. Whoa, way inside at 100. And now missing way out to the right. 2-0. 3-0. Not even close on any of these pitches. And there was nothing to swing at as Sosa takes third base. He's safe. Sydney walks again. 
on four erratic pitches from Aroldis Chapman. So it's once again up to those behind Sydney. Arenado looks at a ball. So he's missed at least five straight. Six straight. That's seven. And a drive from Arenado into center. They gave him the green light. But at the very least, a sack fly scores Sosa. And the game is tied at four. I can't believe he swung 3-0. It must have been really good. But it's not enough to tie this game. We need to try and win it. Back in time, barely. What I like here is that we're probably going to get set up as we almost got picked again. But I think that, you know, we get at least a couple of at-bats here in the uh, seventh. We can ensure Sydney has one more chance if necessary. Don't reach. Make him throw a strike. His best throws in this inning have been the pickoff attempts. He misses again. Chapman has not thrown many strikes. But does get one there. Three and two. Wow. That was above the letters. Chapman gets the strikeout. Unreal. He has now thrown over at Sydney five times in this inning. Goldschmidt. He gives it a ride, but Tommy Pham gets to it. But we do get that tying run that we needed. And we're going top of the eighth. Mookie Betts facing Evan Marshall. What a series it's been for Betts. Winning game five all on his own. That's going to be a hit to center. With two away. Trying to keep the Dodgers from retaking this lead. And they can't get it in the eighth. We don't do anything in the eighth. And now we're going top nine. Two down. This is Christopher Ross. He is one for 13 in this series. Facing Matt Strom. Behind 0-2 with a runner at second. Skied for Sydney in center. He's got it. And now our chance to win game six as we go bottom nine. Sidney Jean Charles will hit with two down. One of the biggest at bats of the postseason. Tied here in the ninth, trying to force a game seven. Scott Alexander is on the mound. Ball one in the dirt. It's a drive. Headed out to right center. Going back. Bellinger, he can't get it as it one hops into the seats. A two out double for Sidney Jean Charles. I was hoping that would have enough juice to get out, but not quite. But it's his second extra base hit of the entire series against LA. They'll walk Arenado, they don't want to face him. They would much rather face Corey Dickerson. Lonnie White is in the game to pinch run. And now Dickerson, who has two RBIs and is hitting 190, has the chance. Sydney at second. All right, so against Alexander in his career, four for eight with a homer. And quickly getting ahead in the count. Goldschmidt would follow. Just a piece of it as we go to two and two. Struck him out looking and we're going to extras here in game six. Alexander out of trouble. Single. Caught stealing though. Nothing in the tenth and we win it! Joshua Baez walk off homer 
We're going the distance. Actually, it was Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt got it. We're going the distance. We're going seven games. And the home team is 6-0 and oh in this series. We got one more to go, everybody. This is it. Game 7, NLCS. Who is advancing to the World Series? This has been an incredible best of seven. The home team has won every game, and a lot of these have gone down to the wire. We have a couple of walk-off home runs. But now one more. We're going to pitch Jordan Wicks in this game. And we're facing a pitcher that I have, like, no familiarity with. We'll see once we get there. But right now, Freddie Freeman with a sky-high fly into center. And Sydney takes care of it. But they will be pitching Donnie Kidd. What do we know about Donnie Kidd? Well... Sydney has faced him before. We're 0-2. 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Donnie Kidd is a 74 overall with 99 velocity. He's a lefty. 77K per 9. This season, he had a 10 and 11 record with a 4.7 ERA, 1.5 whip. He was a 2.6 war pitcher, though, as he did get a lot of strikeouts. 3.4 FIP. So a lot of these numbers here suggest he was pretty good. Maybe a little inconsistent, though. Donnie, the lefty. Fouled back. That's the slider that's been giving me some serious issues. All right, he's really trying to attack inside here. It's a 2-2 two and two count. Way off. Full count from Donnie Kidd. It's a drive into right, but Betts should have it. And he does. Nothing doing here in the first. One, two, three on ground outs. We like to see that. It was five in a row. But they still don't do much. Oh, we got a run. Four singles here against Donnie Kidd. Two on for Sydney with two down. Can we get something to drive? He kept the ball down in that first at bat. Tried to attack inside with the slider. Ah, strike one. And now we're out in front. Both very good pitches to hit. Pulled into left. Haven't done that much. Caught by Pham. Missed our chances in that one. A double for Turner. A walk, a single, a walk. They do tie the game up. Nothing more. Jordan Wicks overall doing a good job. Here's James Outman. One and two. Outman sends it out to deep right center. And Sydney is under it. Single, single, single. Come on. Oh, a double play. We had the seven, eight, nine hitters reach and then an out and a double play. So Sydney never got a chance there. But it is two to one. Must have missed that second run. We lead right now. Trying to go to the World Series. That's jammed. Not good enough. Just not hitting the ball well in this one at all. Top seven. Outman once again. We're in our bullpen now after a really good start from Jordan Wick. Seven Marshall is out. And a base hit into center field. Trying to get back to the top of their order. Trey Turner has been phenomenal. And then they get nothing in the seventh. In the eighth, Freddie Freeman at the plate. And nobody aboard. We're shifted over. I'm going to back up a step. Just in case. 
And it's towards Sydney. He's got it. We're closing in on a World Series berth. A double and a triple and a single. They tie it, but they do not take the lead. And Sydney will hit here in the eighth inning against Bruce Dar Gratterall. Two outs, nobody on. Out in front. Close. A little bit on top there. Base hit for Sydney into left center. Holding up at first. So we've had a lot of singles like that. He's aboard though. Probably not going to steal. Arenado. And Arenado has a single into center. Sydney's going to round hard. Aggressive into third base safely. He's 90 feet away. And now it's up to Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt! Into left center, given a ride. Bellinger's got it. So close. Top nine. One, two, three inning. Bottom of the ninth. We force extras. And in the bottom of the 10th inning, it's a tie ball game. And Sydney's at the plate again with two down. He will face Bickford. World Series on the line. Inside, he misses. And now missing high. Two and oh. We went after it, but couldn't connect. No, no! Fastball up and we had it. Oh my God, we missed it. Two and two. Just cannot get the PCI on it. We have a three and two count now. I can't believe it. I'm always just a little bit off. And it's right at Freeman. We had our chances in that inning. Just one homer here against the Dodgers. We're going to the 11th inning. Ground out, pop up, ground out, nicely done. We can't get it done though in the 11th. So we go top of the 12th. Christopher Ross with a runner on first, nobody out. Ross, shallow center, gonna drop in. Head of the round second, Outman, he's gonna reach it likely. Safe at third. Runners at the corners. And a sack fly gives them the lead. A single. No! No, not like that with Sydney on deck. The Dodgers have won it in 12. And our season is over. The Dodgers win the National League pennant once again. I didn't play well at all in this episode. I really wanted to get us to the World Series. I just felt like I couldn't get things under control hitting well enough. Like something was always a little bit off. PCI, swing timing, both. We got a whole bunch of grounded singles, but I feel like we had a chance here in the last game. Like in all those at-bats, we had pitches. And that is how the season ends instead. We go the distance against the Dodgers, but they win the finale. 
the largest margin of victory for any of these games in the NLCS was two runs. It was always within reach. Five of the seven games were one run games. Oh, that's such a bad way for this season to end. It was a phenomenal season for Sydney overall. The playoffs overall, we had 13 hits, two doubles, three homers. Only one against the Dodgers. We could have really used one there late. The slugging was way down from the regular season. On base was down, but similar. Sydney did lead the team in hits in the postseason. 13. Eight walks, three strikeouts. I had way more than three strikeouts. Unless I'm misremembering, but three strikeouts doesn't seem right. Two doubles. Three intentional walks. Well, that is not how any of us wanted this season to end. The Dodgers have won the NLCS and they have won the World Series against the Yankees. I think I'd like to do another season at some point, but my plan has been to take a break after the conclusion of this season. It sucks that uh, it's such a heartbreaking way for it to end. Had a really good time with this series. And I really wanted to get to a World Series and hopefully win one, but that quest would have to continue. So would you like another season of Sidney John Charles perhaps a little bit down the road, maybe as MLB 23 approaches? You can let me know down below. I want to thank you for all the support, though, in this series. This is my first player base series, a big one, first in a while, and it's been one of my favorite player base series that I've done, especially when it comes to Road to the Show. I feel like we really found a groove in this series. But despite all of those titles from this year, the World Series is not included. Things do feel incomplete. So would you like to see more from Sydney later on? Let me know. But I think that with this, it's going to be time to move on to some different things and add some more variety to the channel. But thank you all for the support. Wish I could have given y'all a better episode today. It's how it goes sometimes. We don't have storybook conclusions to everything that I do. But please leave a like if you've enjoyed the series and subscribe to the channel. I'll have some new stuff coming your way soon, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.